Okay guys, in this video we are going to fix USP, it's not recognized, some kinds of error code like 52. For any device like printer, mouse, keyboard, so you'll be getting the error message with the information like Windows cannot verify the digital signature for the driver required for the devices. So for whichever devices, currently I'm getting this error for my printer. You can see this is my printer. For my printer, I'm getting this error. You can see printing and scanning. Both has got a driver issue. So today we are going to fix this USB issue. So when I click on it and when I go to the properties, I'm gonna see this error code 52. So step by step, all the necessary steps that you can follow in order to fix this issue. So at first, in the very beginning, what you can do is just uh, go to the my computer or this PC. You can see guys, it's uh, this PC. Give a right click on it. And then guys, you're gonna click on manage. So once you click on manage, it's gonna ask you for the permission. Click on yes. And then you're gonna see this. You're gonna click on this device manager here you have a device manager in the device manager so for whichever devices whether for keyboard mouse printer whichever hardware devices you are getting this usb error so give a right click on it and then click on update driver software so this is the very first normal steps that you can follow you can update the driver You can see guys, the driver software is up to date. So I do not have a driver issue. So if there was a driver issue, if that is fixed, this would fix your issue. If uh, the issue is not fixed, I can give a right click on it. And then you can try disabling and then enable it back again. Or even you can try a scan for the hardware changes. So after following these steps for the issue still the issue is not gone what you can do the second step the second step you're gonna press Windows plus R so you have a Windows key in your keyboard so take the Windows key and R key together so Windows and R key in a keyboard and then guys you're gonna see this run in run you're gonna type R E G E D I T. All right. For registry, R E G E D I T. So let me show you. Okay, guys, here it is. So you're going to type this in a run command. And then, guys, you're going to click on OK. You're going to see this. Click on Yes. And then finally, you're going to see this screen. So this is the registry window. So you're gonna click on this Hey Local Machine. So it's the drop down icon, click on it. And then you have a system. Inside system. So you can just make it bigger and smaller from here. So inside system, here you're gonna see current control set. So right over here, you have a current control set inside that you're gonna see control here you have a control click on control so inside the control you're gonna see class here you have a class click on class in this list you're gonna find this 36 so you can see something starting with the number 36 so 36 FC 9 60 at last you're gonna see 4 and 50 so you're gonna select this registry on the right side on the right side you're gonna check for upper filter and lower filter so in this list you're gonna see the list over here in the registry so you can see guys here you have a lots of stuff in this list somewhere you're gonna see the 
upper filter and lower filter. So if you have this upper filter and lower filter in the list, you are going to select that and give a right click on it and then you can delete. So do not delete this one. If you have a upper filter and lower filter, you are going to delete this upper filter and lower filter from the list. Currently, I do not have a upper filter and lower filter in the list. Even that is the one reason why you will be getting that error. If the problem is not solved, the next thing that you can do. So what you can do guys, you have a shift key in your keyboard. Okay guys, you can press the shift key continuously in your keyboard. Alright, so do not get the hand of shift key. So you have a shift key in your keyboard, you are going to press that continuously. So I am just putting my finger on a shift key now. So okay, now you go to the start, you are going to see the power and then restart. Okay guys, once you get this screen, you can get the hand of the shift key. So do not lift your hand from the shift key, keep on pressing continuously and restart your PC and just uh, once you get this screen, you can just leave the shift key. Now what you can do, you are going to click on this troubleshoot and then you have advanced option. In the advanced option, Okay guys, you're going to choose start up settings. In the start up setting, you're going to see this disable driver signature enforcement. So you're going to choose this option and then click on that. So what you got to do over here, it is asking you restart to change the windows option such as below. So we're going to disable that. So at first, we're going to restart it. Okay guys, now you're going to use the function key. So you can see here you got uh, in number 7, you have a disable driver signature enforcement. So you're going to choose F7 key. So once you choose the F7 key, it's going to restart board. So in your keyboard, so take your keyboard, in your keyboard, you're going to see the F7. So you can see guys, here I got the app 7. Here you have app 7, you are going to press the app 7. You are going to check the list guys. So in the list, so in, in your computer, in your desktop or the laptop, whichever function key you got, whichever function key in whichever number, it is going to ask you to press to disable the driver signature enforcement, you are going to press that function key. Okay guys, now I'm gonna click on, right click on this and I'll be clicking on manage. You're gonna choose yes. And then finally I'm going to show you. The device manager at first imaging. So you can see guys, there's a uh, no error. So I was having a yellow color over here. So that represents the error. There is no error over here. Problem is solved. Now my printer going to work. So follow the same steps for your mouse, keyboard, for whichever USB device you are getting error. You can follow the same steps and the problem is solved. Go to the properties. Now you can see the device is working properly. It's fine. So I was having a printing issue. So USB printing support was not working. Now you can see guys, USB printing support is also working fine. When I go to the properties, the device is working properly. So it's great now. So all these steps to fix the issue. Still the problem is not solved. You can follow one more step. What you can do guys, you can open this, this PC or mic. Get inside C drive. And then here you have a windows inside the C drive. So in C drive guys, you're going to see the windows. Here you have a windows. In Windows, you're going to find System32. System32. Inside System32, you're going to find Driver. Here you have a Driver. Inside Driver, just come down. So in the list of Driver, you're going to find guys, so USB-E-H-C-I-S-Y-S. 
So you're gonna find this and then guys you're gonna delete it. So give a right click on it and you're gonna delete it. So do not delete it if the problem is solved. This is the final last last step that you can try. So guys this is the steps you can do it at your own risk. If any issue if any issue you're gonna have to install it again. So guys my problem was solved by disabling the driver enforcement. So if you disable the driver Info, uh, enforcement so it's gonna fix almost uh, all the issue so this is the last step that you can try all these steps will definitely help you fix the issue i hope helps be sure to hit the like subscribe and comment have a good day catch you in the next video